Hello, my name is Cal Mullinay from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, I'd like to talk to you about agorism. It's a freedom holiday that we celebrate on the second Monday of September. It's our replacement of uh, federal status holidays. It's our way to appropriate them. Not just to, of course, end that culture, but to replace it with, uh, with what would exist in a free and voluntary society. And in that pursuit of freedom, we've compiled a lot of uh, activist tools, specifically these freedom pamphlets. We have the Peaceful Parenting pamphlet, the Anarchy pamphlet, and the Volunteerism pamphlet. And now <laughs> we have the Agorism pamphlet. And so these pamphlets help to supplement your conversations with people. They help to define what is the state, to help to define the Leviathan, right? It's difficult to, to I guess, achieve freedom if you don't understand your, your enemy. If you can't put the, the picture together for people to see vividly and, and to make that outline of what it is that we're, we're up against. And so these are ways to help supplement those conversations, help supplement your, your activism. Uh, you know, they can also be standalone pamphlets as well. You know, you drop them off at uh, your local cafe or a hostel as they found in uh, Detroit, for example. And so with the agorism pamphlet, I'll start off reading the uh, three main pieces that I feel are very important. They're in the inside portion of the pamphlet. And so with the collaboration of a lot of uh, awesome people, I'll read this one first by Travis Maddox. It defines what is agorism. Agorism, very simply put, is the marketplace without regulation, an intervention of the state. Agorism is everything the state and its control of the market is not. It is the free exchange of ideas, goods, and services, and mutual volunteer agreements absent of violence and coercion. Agorism, much like the anti-political philosophy of anarchy, is all around us. It is natural and common for each of us to interact outside the regulation and control of the state. Farmers and flea markets, yards and rummage sales, and many of the personal transactions you conduct are all free market trade, known more commonly as counter economics. Counter economics exists in the absence of non consensual taxation, permits, licenses, regulations, monopolies, and any other threat of violence. The free market and its ability to self regulate is already in place. Every day, consumers have the power to patronize and ostracize businesses, effectively voting for their desired businesses with their own capital. This type of regulation has proven to be more successful and cost-effective than that of the state-controlled market. The state-controlled market dominantly benefits large market shareholders at the expense of the middle and smaller market competitors, stifling innovation, competition, and economic progress. And of course, this comes a uh, one, one particular line I skipped over is that this, this comes at the cost of the consumers. And so the next part here is a message to you from Rachel Renner, who's, uh, well, Travis Maddox comes from Liberate Oz, so out west. And Rachel Renner comes locally from Richmond, Virginia, from Liberate RVA. And she writes, the pervasive regret when people die is that they spend too much time working and concerning themselves with money. Lives were left unfulfilled because of what government trade interference kept out of reach. The cultural respect and social status of taking the high dollar jobs falls short in long term satisfaction. The end game, happiness, is forgotten when the depreciating value of the dollar causes one's work to gradually lose worth. Tangible products and bodily and spiritual wellness are sacrificed as the fickle coin becomes almighty. As individuals, we should examine our values. While consumer culture pressures us into believing we won't be satisfied without their product or service, such distractions take far less a toll than government-imposed monopolies and restrictions on voluntary exchanges and trade. Our communities, family, friends, and neighbors need us to become contributing individuals. Government needs us to fulfill debt quota to sustain their power. But in the realm of voluntary exchanges, it is the entrepreneur we need most. To have the creative, to have the courage to creatively challenge and innovate in the face of government control that robs us of the potential of tomorrow. And my contribution to the agorism pamphlet, I helped to define what is taxation. It is common knowledge that without taxation, the state could not fund their monopoly on law security, currency, first-class mail, and the distribution of distilled spirits, etc. 
In a state-controlled market, you have no freedom of economic choice. You cannot withdraw or cancel payment or unsubscribe from coherence services. You don't even have the freedom to entrepreneurially compete against these monopolies with the end game of providing a better quality of service that will not be abusive or harmful to you, the consumer. Whereas in a free market, you would have the free economic freedom to choose which products and services meet your needs and standards. You would be free to choose how best to allocate your resources without the fear of the state violently throwing you into a cage for not paying your taxes. You could choose to help the poor without funding war, or you can choose to support education rather than the war on drugs. In essence, taxation is theft, and to tax is to do business at the barrel of a gun. And that's our agors and pamphlet. I mean, there's more ad additional resources on the other side of it, of course. And this is a, of course, we celebrate this on the second Monday again, uh, second Monday of September. Uh, and so a lot of this stuff, we'll be, we'll be doing this for years. So, of course, you don't have to wait till September to pass out these uh, pamphlets. Just uh, print them out very cheaply. They come very good in black and white. Try to minima minimize the, the color. So, you know, for whatever your budgets are, you know, it still has enough um, quality to be, I guess, uh, view both good in color and black and white. And so with that, you know, hopefully you guys are continuing sharpening your art of rhetoric skills and uh, continue fighting the good fight. And so with that, I'll be ordering about a, a thousand of these pamphlets coming next week. If you guys are at the Drinking Philosophy Gathering, um, I'll pass them out to you guys there too as well. And yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's start working on this together. Let's start ending this date together. So with that, I'll see you guys at the victory party. You guys take good care.